Hi, so in this video we're going to look into the AdventureWorks database and look at all sales per country and break them down in age groups. We will also visualize this in Google Sheets. If you do like the video, please check out my Udemy course. You can see a link in the description where I will go over more analysis and I do go over each topic in SQL and give you real practice on SQL Server Management Studio. So when we approach a question like this, we want to think about what data we want to show and what columns. So we are asking for the age group of all sales by country. So we will need the birth date of the customer, which will come from the DIM customer table. We will want the English country name, which comes from the geography table. And we also want the sales data, which come from the fact internet sales table. So this is the first table I will query from. I will do a select star, but I will just change this to show all. Now we want to join the customer table to this. So I'm just going to name this T1. We'll do a join of dim customer t2 and we'll join this on the customer key it could also be useful to look at the er diagram just to see how these tables are connected customer key so let's just run this and then from our output you can see that the customer table has got geography key so from this, we can join. I'm just going to copy and paste the first part of the table name. And then we have dim geography. I'll name this T3 and we'll join this on the geography key. Not, sorry, T2 dot geography key. equals t3 dot geography key so now it's also showing the country of each customer and their sales so that is the first process towards this query but we want an age group of all sales by country so we don't want to display all the data let's show English country region name And you can put the alias that we've given the table before the, the name of the column if you like. We'll also show the birth date. And the sales order number. So this is all the data that we need. But it's currently only showing the birth date. We want to see their age. But we want to see their age when they ordered. So we do this by doing a date diff in years between the birth date and the order date. And that would have been their age when they ordered. comma okay so now we have their age so the next step will be to group their age into the categories and to do that I'm going to turn this output into a table that we will query from so I will create a CTE with CTE main as open brackets close brackets so now we are just doing a select star from CTE main again we're gonna have the exact same output but now I, I can just I like to keep these columns here and now we can just we're still going to return them but we're just grouping the age so 
let's just copy this and let's start grouping our age and we do that using case when so I've named it age so we do case when age is less than or equal to 30 actually we'll do it under 30 and we'll keep 30 year olds in the 30 to 40 bracket so let's do it when age is less than 30 then open quotation marks a little trick actually I will show you is I like to name each column or each output starting with a letter so that they are in order you'll see that this can be very useful whenever we bring the data into Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel so when age is less than 30 then under 30 and then I'll just copy this when age between 30 and 40 then and we'll do this as B 30 to 40 and we'll do this for all our groupings Uh, D 50 to 60 and then our last one will be over 60s we could do an else over 60 and that will just group everyone else into the over 60s but as I mentioned before I do like to it's just good practice to create an other column just in case we made a mistake over 60 okay else and we'll just name this column as age group just put a comma And we're going to count to, to get the sales we want to count sales order number and we'll name that column sales okay and then we're going to group this by these two so we don't name the column in the grouping, we just have to finish it end. Okay, so now we have our data. Germany under 30 sales 372. We can order this if we like. We'll order it by English country name age group okay so since we gave the letters first because under would have been towards the end it would have done the numbers first so by giving putting letters before our numbers it's ordered these in better and it's much easier to understand so now we'll bring this data into Google Sheets and make a chart so I will just control a copy with headers then I will bring in open a new Google Sheets okay I'm going to name this uh, AdventureWorks project okay we can paste this data here now and what I'm going to do is insert a pivot table from this I'm going to keep it in this sheet. I just like to have the data and the pivot in the same table. So 
So it is going to show up here where I've selected. And the way I would like to see the pivot table is for each row, I want to see the English country name. And then for each column, the age group. And for the values, we're going to show how many cells there were. Okay. Again, it can be quite hard to just see if, if any trends really stand out by doing this. So I'm going to copy the data that we want to create a chart from, which will be all the column names and the data, the sales themselves. And at the top, we will insert a chart. So Google has automatically inserted a side-by-side -side bar chart. But again, I find it quite hard. We can see, obviously, United States and Australia had the most sales. But it's probably better to do this at a percentage to see what percentage of sales happened in the each age group. I'm just going to delete this. We can do it in the title text and customize just to delete the chart title. We can give it our own chart title, but we can do that after. But to change the chart type, a chart style and setup, sorry, on the left hand side, it's given, Google has automatically given a column chart. But I also, I think it's better to do a 100% stack bar chart. And this shows what percentage of sales in each country happened by the age group that we have assigned. There aren't really any standout trends here. Maybe that the United States have more sales for over 60s. But yeah, it can be a very interesting way to visualize it. And it's a great way to spot any patterns and trends. So I hope you liked this video and please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or feedback. Check out my course on Udemy where I do more analysis pieces on AdventureWorks data. Thanks for watching.